hi everyone welcome to my channel in this question we are given a triangle abc in which p is an interior point such that angle bpc is a right angle and angle bap measurement is equal to angle bcp these two angles are equal M and N are the midpoints of AC and BC respectively. Length of BP is twice of the length of PM. And we have to prove that points A, P and N are collinear. That means we have to prove that angle APN is a straight angle that is 180 degree. So to prove that points A, P and N are collinear points we need some constructions the one is extend cp up to d such that cp is equal to pd and join bd these two constructions are required here to prove that the points a p and n are collinear here cp is extended up to d such that cp is equal to pd and BD is joined AD is joined now we are given that this angle is equal to this angle so let this angle be alpha so this is also alpha now in these two triangles BPC and BPD uh, this angle is given as 90 angle BPC is 90 so this is 90 so because this CP is extended to D this is linear pair so this will also be 90 degree and PC is equal to PD angle BPC is 90 degree angle BPD will be 90 linear pair so these two triangles are congruent triangles by SAS congruency side angle side this is common in both the triangles it means bc length is equal to c bd length and this angle is equal to this angle also so this is also alpha because bc is equal to bd now if we consider quadrilateral bpad and consider this line segment bp this line segment BP is subtending angle BAP which is alpha and the same line segment BP is subtending angle BDP alpha because this alpha this alpha both are equal since BC and BD we found equal. The same line segment is subtending equal angles it means that points B, P, A and D are cyclic points concyclic points and therefore we can say that BP, AD is a cyclic quadrilateral if it is a cyclic quadrilateral and BD is subtending 90 here so this BD will also subtend 90 here means angle BPD is 90 so BAD is 90 this diagram is not to scale so this is 90 after proving that BPAD is a cyclic quadrilateral lines uh, chord this BD chord subtends equal angle at this point P and at this point A because P and A uh, will be on the circumference of the circle and this BD's diameter center will be uh, on this uh, midpoint of this BD this angle is 90 plus alpha now this P is midpoint of CD because we have extended CP up to D such that CP is equal to PD it means P is the midpoint of CD and M is midpoint of AC given. So by midpoint theorem this PM is parallel to DA and as well as the length of PM will be half of DA. So this is parallel to this and PM is equal to half DA by midpoint theorem and therefore AD or DA is equal to 2 PM. But we are given in the question that uh, BP is equal to 2 PM. So 2 PM is BP. It means AD and BP are equal. So 
this thing and this thing are equal this bp and da are equal and bp is subtending alpha so this da will also subtend alpha because equal chords subtend equal angles at the circumference and as well as at the center so if this is alpha and this is alpha already we proved so it means that alternate angles are equal so we can say that uh, bd is parallel to ap and this angle is 90 plus alpha this angle is also 90 plus alpha so this is 90 minus alpha because opposite uh, angles of uh, cyclic rotor will be supplementary so this hole is 90 minus alpha this hole is 90 plus alpha and 90 minus alpha 90 plus alpha we can say that sum of these two will be 180 therefore these two lines are parallel once again so these two lines are parallel now consider c p d and c and b this p is midpoint of c d this n is midpoint of b c it is given so if we join p n this P is midpoint of CD and this N is midpoint of CB. So PN will be half of BD and PN will be parallel to BD by midpoint theorem. So since AP is parallel to DB and PN is parallel to DB, so it means that AN is parallel to DB and P is common point. So we can say that angle APN is a straight angle which is 180 degree and hence we can say that these points A, P and N are collinear and hence proved.